Oh no, she did! All right, class, morning. All right, so what we gotta talk about today. So today, well, I made myself a to-do list last night. I am a huge fan of making lists. I, I think a list is necessary. I sent myself this massive list. I got a lot of editing, a lot of shooting, a lot of setting up for future projects. And that's, uh, and just trying to come up with a, I don't wanna say a cleaner format, but the way that I'm I'm working, I need, I need a different, I need a different workflow in the way that I'm working. Let's see, class-wise, what we gotta do today? Finish some calligraphy stuff up, which means I need to shoot another video for calligraphy. And then I need to work on slab pieces with my ceramics classes. I got this, I had this really great idea. Several years ago, I was like, I wanna do this. I wanna make one, like a series of these for me. Uh, but now when I kinda have my students kinda help me with that so I can set them up and it looks really cool, uh, is we're doing a series of slab houses. And in the slab houses, Okay. Uh, in the slab houses, we are doing a, um, a, you can come up with your own theme, what kind of house you want to make. Uh, my reference is pick a, pick, doing those ceramic houses like mom or grandma has around the fireplace at Christmas time. Little fun houses. For me, I'm doing a complete Halloween theme. I just, I haven't had a minute to sit down and make them. I just, uh, I've been wanting to for years. I just never have. Uh, so I was like, let's make it a class project this time around. So hopefully... I think I got some some uh, some kids who are gonna who are gonna make some too, and I hope that that's what I see because that would be awesome. Uh, all right, so today in how not to suck at teaching, you know what? Today in how not to suck at teaching, we're gonna talk about list making a list. Uh, why? Because uh, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. All right, so I definitely think that doing a list and doing um, something that you can check off, I think, is always more impacting than die I always think that making a list is much more impacting something that you can strike through check off as you're doing it is a lot more accomplishing or you feel more accomplished because of having that I did this I did I completed this task uh, rather than you know putting down a lesson plan like you covered this you covered this you covered this like I said in another vlog I think it said 15 notebooks ish uh, that I put down um, things that I'm working on, uh, rechanging names on videos, editing videos, what I need to work on on videos, or because I just do so much video, um, or working on uh, something. But a list is imperative so that you can you can have a direction as to where you're going. It's better than a lesson plan to me because it's minute, it's simplified, it's done in a way, in a presence that makes you, what was going on there? Come on, people. <sighs> no one understands how a turn arrow works. You gotta get you gotta get in the game as quick as possible. Anyways, back to lists. Um, make a to-do list of things that you need to cover every day. And what I start, I did this last year. I haven't done this this year, and I thought this was a... I do think this was great, and once you get in the habit of it, it's actually quite simple. Uh, every day I had a to-do list for my class. So instead of, uh, today we have to cover this and this and this, and this is the standard that we're covering, I would have, you know, probably three or four genet generic standards, but then I would have a to-do list. Today you need to have this completed. Today uh, everybody should, have, should work on this, and then have this set up for tomorrow. And it, it's, it was such a simple format that I, I got used to it quite quickly. Uh, come in, change what I need to change. If I, if I had a minute the day before, I would change it then. But you're only changing like two, three lines in the one, in the, in, and it's not even a document, I don't want to call it a document, but it's just like a couple, like less than a paragraph of what has to be done today. It was a great visual for the students to see because then the students had a list of, oh, I need to get this done today. Uh, list. We'll work on some. I definitely think this is good in the um, like fourth grade up through eighth grade. I think that doing that as a big truck trying to get around them. All right, so big truck. You see the big truck? Hi, Mr. Truck. Uh, so doing a list with, with those grade levels, I think is also a great idea because, uh, they don't use a planner. They don't use a, um, I don't know, I want to call it a journal, but they don't have anything that they can put down those lists themselves. Uh, and, but getting them in the habit of doing those things, I think it's a great thing, uh, so that they can have a, 
a reason or a purpose in what they're doing. There's a there's a sequential uh, understanding, which is uh, definitely uh, what was it? We said that yesterday was a DOK level three because you're uh, it's it's on the line between analysis and analysis and what an assessment i don't know i'll look it up i'm gonna go listen to some tunes before i get into into school today so i will catch you guys this afternoon i will see you next class have a good one guys later